doing a master's program as you're working or as you're teaching has been very beneficial in the fact that you can apply some of the stuff immediately. What you're doing with other teachers, taking from other teachers and learning from them, you can apply it in your classroom immediately and, and see the positive results. This is something that anyone can do. It's something that, that you can make yourself a better teacher. Things that we've been reading and learning too is not just beneficial for our education but also for in our lives. Even after the very first day of class I felt like I couldn't wait to come back the next day and learn more about everyone. I also like getting three classes in per semester rather than just one class. After I leave here on the weekends, I feel so refreshed and I'm able to go back to school with a whole new attitude. You can rely on people when you're, when you're getting busy, call Shack up and say, hey, what did we miss or what do we need to do for this project? Coming to a place where everybody is here for the same reason. We all love education, we want to make ourselves better teachers and so we all have that in common right from the start. If we were working in groups 90% of the time, it ain't like you're off on your own doing individual assignments. You have a group, they put you into to learning groups and you have support. It reflects a lot of like the actual workplace where you're working with other teachers and other educators. The, I, I think one of the, my favorite parts of the whole thing really has been the flexibility. It's something that is going to be a step-by-step -step process and you just continue to move on and you're done. Listening to other teachers and what they know and being able to share and bounce ideas off of each other. It's just not all thrown at you individually. I like the fact too that we know our homework far enough in advance that we can fit that into our lifestyles too. I think I've taken quite a few things from here mm -hmm. and applied them directly back into my classroom. Yeah. I know I have. Being able to talk to other teachers who are teaching the same things and you become a better teacher because of the ideas. I've shared lots of things that we've talked about in class too, it seems like, with my colleagues. Hearing what's going on in the other schools, I think we bounce a lot of ideas off of each other. I've been able to bring ideas back to other people in my district that I never would even have thought of that different districts are doing. Here you have people to bounce ideals off of and it seems a more natural approach. It's worked out nicely where it's actually enhancing my job as I'm doing the homework. I'm just meeting lots of new people and collaborating and getting ideas from them. My kids in my classroom are shocked to find out that I'm going to college. It just felt like a good match coming in. And getting your master's in just two years, I can't see how I could do that any other way other than the, through the learning community. With the learning community, it's a step-by-step -step process. Oh yeah, that would fit in my life. It's not something that you need to struggle with or, or worry about. But I really enjoy the socialness mm -hmm. of this too and meeting new people. It seemed manageable with having a young child and a family. If you're taking the master's course by yourself, a lot of people get overwhelmed with the amount of workload. My colleagues said, oh, you should do a learning community. You'd love it because <laughs> I'm social. And everyone that I talked to who had experienced it had good things to say. We can still live our lives, do our jobs, have families, and come to school. I wanted a different learning experience than just sitting quietly in a classroom listening to a professor tell me about what they know. So it's been something that has been good for the kids to see that we are about learning.